Welcome back to Old Car Rescue. Yeah, we got a new project today, and um, we're gonna go ahead and dive into it right here, right now. And um, we're gonna start out by just checking it out thoroughly. So uh, it's a MGB convertible. It looks like probably a Florida car because most of these are rusted all the way to the ground. So uh, let's get a look at it and see what we're dealing with. Has a little bit of rust, you know, here and there, but that's a normal spot for, for MGs. And it's actually pretty solid. Now, we did have to put a couple skins on it to get it on the trailer because they were not looking in their best health. But it really don't look too bad body-wise. Now the interior definitely needs a little help, but we'll be getting into that in a little bit. Right now, we're just going to take a good look at the body. We've got a little scuff scuff here. Doors are actually pretty nice. Got a little ding ding there. But other than that, it don't look that bad. I know other people really like to look in the trunk first, but I can't help it. I like to look under the hood first. Now, did you see that? Did you see that right there? Now, why couldn't we still use stuff like this? Everything now has the hydraulic rams that don't usually ram. And you have to carry a baseball bat to hold your hood open. Then when you get pulled over, the cops want to know, what are you doing with a baseball bat? I use it to keep my hood open. Oh my, look at the size of that power plant. I'm looking for where it says Singer Sewing Company on the side, but I don't see it. God, this thing's must put out like 12 horsepower. Better be prepared. Well, I guess we should see while we're under here if the engine turns. Oh, plastic fan. Feels like it'll break. How about by the alternator? Ugh. Feels a little tight, but I think it moved. If you were hearing that odd echo, it's under the hood. You get under the hood and there's an echo. I don't know why. Let's get a look at this. Well, I see that there is one large thing missing over there. The seat. No tunes. Cool gauge package. Boy, it's a shame that the passenger seat's gone because the driver's seat's in excellent condition. I think we're going to have to get rid of that plastic top. Because it probably won't be going back outside for a while. And this video sucks. But we're going to look under the trunk. Man, 